everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making these adorable little gentleman booties. These are so, it's so cute. Uh, we are working on making these. Uh, these will probably fit up to a 12 month old baby actually. Um, I have the full measurements of the length that mine come out to be about five inches. Uh, but they are quite stretchy, so they might even stretch up to six inches. So um, that is in centimeters. Let's see here. That's about 13 centimeters, 12 or 13 centimeters. So um, those are what mine will come out to be. I only have the measurements for one size uh, that you can find out on my blog where to make how to make these. You can follow along with the written pattern for these. But these are so cute. We're making a little strap and have little buttons on them. So I'll get right into the supplies we need. I'm using two different colored yarns. Uh, you can use any worsted weight or double knitting yarn that you have. Uh, this is the label for our accent color, actually. We're using Caron Simply Soft in this tan color, which is called Bone. And we are just using scraps of that, less than uh, 20 yards. So, but I have gotten the 315 yard ball of yarn and uh, you can get that. That's a six ounce ball of yarn. This is a size four medium yarn. So you can use any type of worsted weight. Like I said, yarn, you can use uh, Red Heart Super Saver, any type of uh, Bernat or Caron or any type of yarn really. Also, the main color we are using is Bernat Softy Baby. And that we are using, let's see here, I have um, the label here shows I bought the ball that's 362 yards, but we're using probably uh, less than 50 yards each uh, shoe. So 100 yards of yarn, I guess. I don't know, less than that. And uh, the color I'm using is pale blue, but like I said, you can use any colors you want, any yarn you want. Um, but those are the two colors I am using, two types of yarn I'm using in this project. I'm using these colors because they do match my other uh, items that I've used for the baby layette for the little boy. I made um, a hat earlier this week and I made a sweater earlier this week. So make sure you check out uh, the blog where you'll get uh, patterns to make a whole set, a whole clothing set. So. Uh, also in this pattern, we are using a G6 hook, which is 4.25 millimeters. But, uh, you know, if you do want to like change up sizing, you can use a smaller or larger hook to make these smaller or bigger. But I do not have measurements or uh, stitch numbers to make these bigger or smaller. These, I only am writing the pattern for one size and showing, demonstrating how to do these shoes in one size. You'll also need four small buttons. I'm using just um, these little tiny buttons that I found, uh, these just little tiny plastic buttons. I think they're 5 8 inch of buttons. So you can use any, any color buttons that you have. I'm just using small brown buttons. You'll need two for each shoe. And we also need a stitch marker. I'm only using just a small a uh, different color piece of yarn, but if you have a legit stitch marker, you can use that. And we're using a yarn needle and a scissors uh, for cutting our yarn, sewing in our ends. Those just come in handy in this projects and all crochet projects. So you should always have a scissors and yarn needle. So that is all the supplies we have today. Um, you know, make sure you check out those links in the description of this video. I'll have a link to my blog where you'll get the written pattern for this project. There's also a link to my Facebook. If you join me there, you can share your photos on Facebook and you can check out the posts by others link and get inspiration from other crocheters and give encouragement to everybody too. We have such a great community on Facebook. There's also our community on Instagram too. Make sure you're hashtagging Yarn Utopia so that I can see your work. Everybody here on our community can see your work and comment on each other's photos, giving encouragement there and getting inspiration too. Uh, you can also follow me on Snapchat. I'll put my username in the description of this video. And I want to thank my dad, Fuad Azmuch, for taking the time out to make these videos with us. He is our videographer, editor, and photographer for all of our videos. So make sure you subscribe to our channel so we can keep, uh, you know, you can get the update on when we 
post our next video. Um, and lastly, I do want to uh, encourage you to go to our channel on YouTube. On the right hand side, there's a blue button that says support. Make sure to click that and support us so that we can keep bringing you fantastic crochet tutorials. And for those of you who have supported us already, that is very generous of you and we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. So let's get started and make these adorable little booties. To start off, we have to make a slip knot, so put your short end over your long end, then fold that down, and then pull that through. Pull tight, and we can start. So to start off, we want to chain 13. Okay, so yarn over and pull through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Okay, so that's what it should look like. And then we are going to crochet uh, two half double crochets in the second chain from the hook. So the loop on the hook doesn't count as anything, so count 1 and 2 right in here. We're going to yarn over and I'm going to actually work on the back ridges of this. So you see your chain like this. So you're going to turn it toward you and you can see these back ridges. I'm going to work into those. Okay. So yarn over, go into the second chain from the hook. Okay. Then yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay. That's a half double crochet. Again, yarn over, go into the same chain, and then yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. Okay, that's our second half double crochet. So we had to put two half double crochets in the second chain from the hook. Then we have to put one half double crochet in the next 10 stitches. So yarn over, go into the next stitch, or the next chain, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Okay, so that's one. Next stitch, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. That's two. Yarn over, go into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. That's three. Yarn over, go into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Loops there, that's four. Yarn over, go into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, not yarn over, pull through all three. That's five. This is six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And there should be one chain left. Okay, in that last chain, we are going to put six half double crochets all into that same chain. So let's see here, let's show you. Yarn over, go into this last chain here. Okay, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. So that's one, two, three, four, five and six. You can see I kind of turned this now upside down. Okay, so we were working on it like this. And now we're going to turn this around and work on it on this side of the foundation row here. Okay, so we worked our last our six stitches in this last chain here. Now our next stitch is going to go right into this chain here and this uh, opposite side of this foundation chain. So you want to make sure that you can find it because it is going to be a little tight. So we're going to work in there. And we are going to put one half double crochet in the next 10 stitches across here. So yarn over, go into this first one right here. Okay, yarn over, pull through. And then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Okay, so that's one. Yarn over, go into the next one. This is two. Yarn over, go into the next one. Three and four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, so there should be one stitch left right here, the one we worked our first two half double crochets in, and we are going to put two half double crochets in there. So yarn over, go in, let me get my yarn here, there we go, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three, again, yarn over, go back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Okay, so that's round one. Do not attach to the beginning here. We are going to continuously work. So I suggest grabbing that stitch marker. Okay, and we can go on to round two. After round one, you should have 30 stitches. So if you need to count back, you can do that. But now we're going on to the next round and we are going to put two half double crochets into the next two stitches. So yarn over, go right into this very first one here, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through all three loops. And again, yarn over, go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Okay, so that's two in the first stitch and then put two in the next stitch. So yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Okay, so we just put two half double crochets in the first two stitches and then we're gonna put one half double crochet in the next 10 stitches. So yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. So that's one, two, this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, okay. And then we are going to put two double crochets in each of the next six stitches, okay? So a double crochet is yarn over, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops, okay? That's a double crochet. Now we have to go back in there, so yarn over, go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. So we're gonna put two double crochets into the next six stitches. So that was our first stitch. So now put two double crochets in this next stitch. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Okay, so that was our second stitch our second uh, one here. So again, two in this next stitch. This is for our third stitch. Okay, two in the next stitch for our fourth stitch. One and two. Two in the next stitch for our fifth stitch. One and two. And then two in the next stitch for our sixth stitch. Okay, so Looking back, you should have 12 double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now we can work on this side here. We are going to put one half double crochet in the next 10 stitches. So yarn over, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, that's our half double crochet. So that was one. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. That's two, this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, then we are going to put two half double crochets in these next two stitches. So yarn over, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And again, yarn over, go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. 
yarn over, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three, and again, yarn over, go back in, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over and pull through all three. So now you should be back to the beginning. So now we can go on to round three. Okay, at the end of round two, you should have 40 stitches. So if you need to count back, you can count back 40. And then moving up our stitch marker, we are going to go on to round three by putting one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So yarn over, go into this first stitch. Don't miss that because our stitch marker is in front of there. Yarn over, go pull through, and then yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Okay, so one half double crochet in these next two stitches. Then we are going to put two half double crochets in each of the next three stitches. So yarn over, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. So one and two in this next stitch. So two double crochet or two half double crochets in there. Next stitch has two half double crochets, one and two, and the next stitch has two half double crochets. So one and two, just like that. Then we are going to put one half double crochet in each of the next seven stitches. So yarn over, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, now we are going to put one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So yarn over, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. One more time, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So we just put one double crochet in the next three stitches. Now we are going to put um, two double crochets in the next stitch and one double crochet in the next stitch, and we're going to repeat that six times, okay? So we're working with double crochets and we are going to put two double crochets in this next stitch. So yarn over, go into this next stitch right here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. One and two back in that same stitch. Okay, so we just put two double crochets in there. Then we're gonna put two, one double crochet in this next stitch. Okay, and we're going to repeat that six times in a row. So that was one, that grouping is one time. So again, next stitch is two double crochet. So one and two. And then the next stitch has one double crochet in it. Okay, so that's our second repeat. Now going on to this next stitch, we're gonna put two double crochet in there. So one and two. And then in the next stitch, we're just gonna put one double crochet. Okay, so that's our third repeat. Now in the next stitch, we're going to put two double crochet one and two, and then in the next stitch, we're just gonna put one double crochet. Okay, so that's our fourth repeat. We have to do this repeat twice more. So put two double crochet in the next stitch, one and two, and then one double crochet in the next. Okay, that's our fifth repeat. Going on to our last repeat, we're gonna put two double crochet in the next stitch, and then one double crochet in the next. Just like that. Now, going on to the next step, we are going to put one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So go yarn over, go into this next stitch for a double crochet. One, two, and three. Perfect. Now, we are going to be working with half double crochets and we're going to put a half double crochet in the next seven stitches so yarn over go into this next stitch yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook so that's one next stitch two this is three four five six and seven okay 
Now we are going to put two half double crochets in each of the next two stitches. So yarn over, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops, and again in the same stitch, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three, and again yarn over, go back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Okay. Now in this very last stitch on this round, we are going to put one single crochet. Let me see here. Oops, I'm sorry. One half double crochet. My bad. Yarn over, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Now in this next stitch, we're going to put a single crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook. So it's a single crochet. And then in this next stitch right here, we are going to slip stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Okay, now we can go on to the next round. Okay, at this point, um, I counted back, including the stitch that we slip stitched into right here. I have 51 stitches. If you ended up with 52 stitches, that is okay. But I ended up with 51 stitches. So this is what your sole of your shoe should look like. So now what we are going to do is make a fancy little row. We are going to chain one and turn our work. So we're looking at the inside of the sole here. And you can even remove your stitch marker at this point if you want. We'll be using that a little later. And what we're, we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch all the way around, but we're make, going to make loose slip stitches because we're going to work in that round in round two of the, of the shoe top. Okay, so the top of the shoe is now round one. You can follow along with the written pattern of this part. So I turned my work, and now you can see your work like this. Okay, and we're going to work right into this stitch right here. We're going to insert our hook then yarn over, pull through, and pull through, but don't pull tight, okay? So we're just going to leave it like that. Then we're going to pull up the loop a little bit, we're going to go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and through, but loosely, remember, all the way around we're doing this, okay? So we're just going to slip stitch all the way around, and then I'll meet you up and we will go on to round two of the top of the shoe. Okay, when you finish round one, just slip stitching all the way around, you should have 51 slip stitches. And then we're going to go into the first slip stitch that we made. And then we're going to slip stitch in there, but we're going to make this one tight. So yarn over, pull through and through and make that one tight because that one is not considered a stitch in this round. Okay, so you should have 51 slip stitches around. And now we're going to chain up one and then turn our work back to see the bottom of the sole just like this. And now we're going to work into those slip stitches from that round from round one. Okay, and we're just going to single crochet around for rounds two through four. We're just single crocheting around, but we're working in continuous rounds, and I'll show you how to do that. Just go right into this first stitch here, this first slip stitch. Okay, underneath both loops. That's why I said to make them loose, because this happens. There we go. Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay, so go into the slip stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, go into the next slip stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, go into this next slip stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So you can see it's making this um, ribbed effect down here for our sole. So go into the next slip stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so it's the stitch that's on the top. It's like sitting at the top of the sole. If you lay your sole down flat like this, you can see these stitches on the top here. These are the stitches we are going to work in. Okay, so that's for rounds two, three, and four. We're just working in the stitches on the top here for round two. And then once I get all the way around, I'll show you how to go on to round two. 
All right, sorry about that before. I said um, this was round one, but uh, or we were gonna go on to round two, but this is actually round two that we just did. We just single crocheted around in each single, or each slip stitch around. The slip stitch round is round one of the top of the shoe, and then this single crochet round is round two. And now we are going to go on to round three, and uh, I so you should have 51 single crochets around for round two. I'm going to put my slip stitch or my stitch marker in here, and we are just going to go right into the first single crochet and single crochet around. So I put my stitch marker in to mark the first uh, of our round, and we're just going to go right into that first one and just single crochet. And we're just going to single crochet in each stitch around now for round three and round four, so the next two rounds. And then I'll meet you up and we'll go on to round five together. All right, don't forget to put your stitch marker up when you do round four. I just did round four here. And now going on to round five, moving the stitch marker up, we want to single crochet in the first 16 stitches. So just insert your hook right in that first stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Okay, and now we are going to make a single crochet decrease in the next stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, go directly into the next stitch right here, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, that's a single crochet decrease. We basically just made these two stitches into one. And now we are going to put one single crochet in the next stitch. So just insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, and we want to do that now six more times. So insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook, and then single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so in total there should be seven of these. So that was that first one is number one, this is number two, this next one. So insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, Yarn, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook, and then single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so that's three. Let me just make sure I'm doing this right here. One, two, and three. Okay, so single crochet decrease, and a regular single crochet in the next stitch. This is a repeat of four single crochet decrease, then single crochet, that's five, single crochet decrease, and then regular single crochet in the next stitch, that's a repeat of six, and we have to do one more, single crochet decrease, and then a regular single crochet in the next. Okay, so we're kind of making the front of the shoe kind of come up there. Now we are going to put one single crochet in the next 15 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay, so now we can go on to round six. Moving the stitch marker up, I just counted my stitches and I have 44 stitches on round five. Uh, if you have 45 stitches, that's okay. So now going on to round six, we are going to uh, put a single crochet in this very next stitch right here. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. 
And now we are going to make a single crochet decrease over these next two stitches. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And now we are going to put one single crochet in the next 12 stitches. So I'll put, we'll see. Let's try that again. Next 12 stitches right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And now we are going to make a single crochet decrease in this next two stitches here. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Then we are going to put a regular single crochet in the next stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. We're going to make a single crochet decrease over these next two stitches. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops, and then put a regular single crochet in the next stitch. Then do that again, single crochet decrease, and then a regular single crochet in the next stitch, then another single crochet decrease over these next two stitches here, just like this. And then a regular single crochet in the next stitch. And one more time, single crochet decrease. And then a single a regular single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so you should have done that five times in total, the decreasing. Now we are going to put one single crochet in the next 12 stitches, which should be... Right, 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And there should be two stitches left. You should single crochet decrease over those last two stitches. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, go into the last stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. Now if you have one more stitch left on this round, just put a regular single crochet in there. But now we can go on to round seven. Okay, at the end of round six, I ended up with 37 stitches, but it, like I said, if you have 38 stitches, if you had an extra stitch at the end there, uh, if you have 38 stitches, no big deal. Let's go on to round seven by putting our stitch marker up, and we are going to uh, put a single crochet in the first 13 stitches. So put one single crochet in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, let's see, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Okay, now we are going to work with half double crochets, and we are going to make two half double crochet decreases. So yarn over, go into this very next stitch, then yarn over, pull through, go directly into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all four of the loops that are on your hook. Okay, that's a half double crochet decrease. We're gonna do that again. So yarn over, go into the very next stitch, yarn over, pull through, go directly into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. And that's a half double crochet decrease. Now we are going to put one, or I'm sorry, two double crochet decreases in a row. So a double crochet decrease is a little different. We're going to yarn over, go into this next stitch, 
yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, but hold it. We're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. So now you have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. Okay, that's a double crochet decrease. Let's do that again, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, now we are going to make two more half double crochet decreases. So yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, go directly into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. And do that one more time. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over and pull through all four loops on the hook. Okay, now we should just put one uh, single crochet in the rest of the stitches, which should be 13, but I'm going to count out loud. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oops, I meant 12. <laughs> 11 and 12. If you have 13, awesome. If not, I have 12. So at the end of this round, um, I have 31 stitches. So if you need to count back, you can count back 31. If you have 32, that's okay. Now going on to round eight, I'll just go right into round eight here, moving up my stitch marker. We are going to put a half double crochet in the first 13 stitches. So yarn over, Go into this next stitch right here behind my stitch marker, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Okay, so we're going to do half double crochets now. So yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So that's two, this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Okay, now we are going to do a half double crochet decrease four times. So yarn over, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all four loops on your hook. Again, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all four loops. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all four loops. And once more, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all four loops. Now we are going to put a half double crochet in the rest of the stitches on this round. And I think I have 10 here. Let me count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. If you have 11, you can just half double crochet in there and you, um, you should either end up with 27 or 28 stitches. I have 27 on mine. So now going on to uh, round nine, we are going to move our stitch marker up and we are going to put a half double crochet in each of the first 13 stitches, just like the last round. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. And now we are going to put a half double crochet decrease and do that twice. 
So yarn over, go into this stitch, yarn over, pull through, go directly into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all four loops, and do that once more. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, go directly into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all four loops on your hook. And now we are going to put a half double crochet in the last stitches on this round, and each one of those should be 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. If you have eleven, remember you can just always half double crochet in the rest of the stitches on this round. I have 25 stitches at this point. So now, going on to our last round, round 10 of the top of the foot, we are just putting one half double crochet into each stitch around. So nothing exciting on this round, just putting one half double crochet in each stitch for 25 half double crochet. And then I'll meet you up at the end of this round and show you how to fasten off. Okay, to fasten off, we are going to single crochet into the next stitch and then slip stitch into the next stitch. So just insert your hook yarn over, pull through and through. And then to fasten off, I usually just chain up one and cut my yarn and pull that all the way through and pull tight. And then you can sew in your end, but this is what our booty looks like. Obviously, if you wanted your cuff to be higher, you could just repeat uh, round 10, just making the cuff higher as high as you want it to be, and then fasten off like we did. But this is what a basic booty looks like. So now we can embellish this piece. So get your contrast color and your hook here. And now look at your shoe like this so that you're looking at the top of it, okay? And we're gonna go right into the back here into this stitch right here, okay? Or any stitch on the back, I guess. And we're going to yarn over with our new color and pull that through right into that stitch that was on um, the last round of our, of our sole, okay? So, this, uh, that's why we slip stitched on round one for the top of the shoe because we're going to use these to work around these right here. And what we're going to do is chain up one, so yarn over, pull through, and we're going to go right back into that same stitch for a single crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, just like that. Go into the next stitch on this part here. Go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Okay, so you can see here I'm working over my straggler as well, so just to sew that in right away. Go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So we're just single crocheting around this um, edge here. Obviously this is uh, optional and you can do this if you'd like just to make a contrast color look with it, um, you know, an accent color. So I'm just going to single crochet into each stitch around, just like this. And then I'll meet you up and we'll fasten off together and go on to the next step. All right, to finish this round, I'm just doing my last single crochet here. And then we're going to slip stitch to the very beginning single crochet right here. Just insert your hook yarn over, pull through, and through, pull tight, and then to fasten off I like to chain one and cut my yarn and pull that all the way through and pull tight. I'm going to grab my yarn needle right away, I just like to sew in my ends as soon as I cut them. So then we can go grab our yarn needle and yarn our needle and sew that in underneath some of these stitches. Okay, this is how I sew in my ends. Just underneath the bottom of the shoe. Nobody's going to see this. Okay, and then stretch it out and then cut any extra and it's all hidden. Okay, so there's a nice little edging on our shoe. Looks fabulous. So now I'm going to crochet another embellishment to go around the edge here. We want to grab our contrast color that we just were just using and we want to 
make a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, fold that down, and then pull that through and pull tight. And then insert your hook, and we are going to chain 18. So yarn over, pull through, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And now in the third chain from the hook, we want to put a double crochet. So the loop on the hook doesn't count as anything. So count one, two, and three right in this chain here, we are going to put a double crochet. And I like to work in the back ridges, kind of like how I so showed you in the beginning of this video. I turn my chain toward me and I see these back ridges here. I'm gonna work in those. So yarn over, go into that third chain, back ridge, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that's a double crochet. We're gonna double crochet in each chain across now. So yarn over, go into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over, go into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so we're just double crocheting across, and once we get to the end, we're going to fasten off with a long tail for sewing, and then I'll show you what to do uh, after that. All right, so I just finished my last double crochet there. I'm gonna chain up one to fasten off. I like to cut my yarn kind of long uh, because we are going to use that for sewing, and just continue pulling that through all the way, and pull tight. Okay, and now we are going to use this and sew this onto our piece, onto our shoe. So grab your shoe, look at it from the front here, and we are going to position this around it, around the top cuff here, okay, just like so. And we're gonna sew that on. So to sew it on, I'm going to grab my yarn needle, yarn my needle with the longer end, take my crochet hook on the inside, okay, and I'm going to grab this, old, this smaller straggler here and pull that through to the inside of our shoe. Okay, just kind of pin that in. You don't have to do that right away, but I like to. And then we are going to position this right below this last round, okay? And we are going to go in to our work and then out our work. Okay, going through both layers. Okay, and we're just going to go all the way across the top side of this um, little strap here. This is just a little decoration. Obviously it's optional and you can choose to do this part or not. Okay, so we're just going in and out of our shoe and the strap all the way across. Okay, and then in, and now we're going to go down to the bottom uh, row of that, and we're going to go back to the other side. Okay, and then once you get to this other side, once we want to fasten off, we're going to go in, I'm going to go out just once more, and then back in, okay, and now we have our two stragglers on the inside here, okay, and we are going to tie them in a knot, just very secure, you could do two or three, and then I'm going to just cut these the same height so that it's just easier to sew these ends in. I'm going to sew these ends in between the two layers inside here. So I'm going to go underneath the blue, but I'm not going to go all the way through because I don't want it to come out this side here. So we want to just go through to the side um, between the two layers and then pull that tight, stretch it all out, make sure it looks good and cut off any extra, 
Okay, and there we have it so far. Okay, but we need a little bit more embellishment. So I have my buttons and you can just use regular little tiny plastic buttons. You can use any buttons um, that you have if you want to use different colors or whatever. But I have these two plastic buttons and I'm going to take my color, my contrast color, okay, and I'm going to yarn my needle. I'm going to position one of these right here and go from the inside of the shoe out the hole and then crisscross and then sew on the button just like this. Your button might have just two holes, mine has four. Okay. And then we're going to cut this. Okay, and then on the inside here, we are going to tie it in a knot. Okay, and then I'm going to sew that in, just like how we just sewed in those other stragglers between the two layers of the blue and the tan, the bone. Okay, just like that. Stretch it out and cut any extra. Oh my goodness. My scissors have been getting dull lately. I gotta sharpen them. So then going on to this side, we're gonna sew on this button right here. So grab your color and sew this other button on on this side now. Just like how we did, go from the inside out, back to the inside, crisscross. Okay, then cut that, and then tie these in a knot. And then sew in your end. Just yarn your needle and sew in all your ends. Like I said before, I just suggest you sew in your ends as you go, just so you don't have to sew them all in at once. And it's just nicer. And then cut off any extra of anything. Okay, there you have it. So now that you just want to rewind this whole video and make your other one, I have made mine. So now I have a cute little booty pair. Okay, so there they are. You will have to, some of them, you know, you might have to stretch out a little bit, make them the same size, embellish, awesome. They look so adorable. They're going to be so cute on any little boy. Or, you know, you could change out the colors. You can make these for a little girl, too. They're, they're so adorable. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to uh, look out for those links in the description of this video. A link to the blog where you'll get the written pattern. A link to my uh, Facebook and Instagram. Make sure to share your photos on those social media platforms. Also... Uh, hashtag yarn utopia so that I can see your work and uh, follow me here on YouTube actually you can subscribe to my channel here on YouTube so check out like I said check out the description of this video so you'll get all the information and I will put information you know for these uh, booties as well you know like I said earlier you can change up the the uh, length of the booty you make it make can make them taller you can change out the colors obviously make them for girls or boys um, I don't have stitch counts to make these bigger uh, for stitch counts, but you, like I said way in the beginning of this video, you can use a, a bigger or smaller hook to make these bigger or smaller. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day, everybody. Happy hooking!